After you create a submission library for students to be able to sit the, submit their work in JT Learn, whether it's through documents or links, you can then create an assignment in JT Learn. If you haven't created a submission library yet, go back to that tutorial first and then come back to this one so you can create an, an assignment within that submission library. When you created your submission library, you needed to check the assignment column if you want that column to populate and be able to add an assignment. If you didn't, that we have a separate tutorial on how to add that column after the submission library has already been made. But for the purposes of this video, um, we're going to assume that you did check that assignment box when you created your submission library. So navigate to one of your submission libraries. I have one on my period two page called Submit Here. It's a document submission library. Once I have that submission library open, you then want to go to Library, Library Settings, and then scroll down on the page until you reach the column section. If you created or check the checkbox when you use Feature Builder to create an assignment column, you'll have an assignment column in this area. You want to click that link that says Assignment. It brings up a form, and in this form you're going to have several options that you're going to need to take a look at. The first one is the column name. You don't want to change that. Leave that as assignment. Then the next portion is how you want that column to sort different information. And in general, what most teachers do is create a choice menu so that students can select the assignment that they will be uploading. You'll have a description section. You want to require that that column has information. And then you're going to type in the choices for each assignment on a separate line. So I have three assignments that I've populated in the box here. Every line will create a new selection that students will be able to choose from in terms of an assignment. And you can continue to add to this uh, throughout your semester. You can remove ones once they're completed. Um, you can then you can decide whether you want a drop-down menu or radio buttons or check boxes. Most teachers tend to choose the drop-down menu that seems to be the easiest for students to navigate. You're not you're going to want to leave this selected as no, so there are no fill-in choices, and leave this just selected as choice. Once you've filled out this form, then click OK. Now let's navigate back to our submission area to see what this will look like for students. So I'll go back to Submit Here, my submission folder. So within the document library, a student would select Plus New Document, and then go to Browse, and select the document, and then they click OK. And this brings up a, a form that they need to fill out. Within that form, they'll have some required fields where they can place the name of the assignment, the period, in this case it was period 2, and then in the assignment section with the drop-down menu, you can see where it populates the three different assignments that I had pasted into that for, for the assignment column. So they would select whichever assignment that they're going to be submitting, and then their last name, and click Save. Notice now that you've you, that you created that assignment, we now have within the assignment column a specific assignment name, Reflection Essay, and that will allow me to sort by the various assignments that I have within that submission library. If you didn't create an assignment column when you, when you initially created your submission library, that's easy to add, and we'll show that in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.